Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here at the Bishop Technology and today I'm showing you how to take a Nook tablet. This is stock Nook tablet. I haven't even added any applications or anything to it. It's totally stock. Uh, there are no books or anything other than what they install on the original installation. I've just registered it. That's all I've done and nothing else. But there is an SD card in it. So uh, when I press the power button and power all We're going to reboot this device. By the way, uh, this will enable you to choose whether you want to uh, boot stock or if you want to boot in Cyanogen Mod because if you boot clean from a power on, it'll boot into the SD card. And this is Team B's implementation of Cyanogen Mod version 7 or Android gingerbread and it's going to boot up and it's going to have all of my configuration on it and we'll be able to use it as a standard tablet as an Android tablet it has all of the uh, the uh, uh, it has the uh, Android market or now it's it's called the Play Store uh, it has the um, the Amazon market and let me get my sign on here Okay, and it's loading up my configuration, and you can see it's coming up now with uh, my home widgets. My network's already signed on, and uh, we have the network down here at the bottom. Uh, it, like I said, it has all the Amazon. Uh, you know, it has Amazon Store. You can load Amazon apps. You can load the play. You can load apps from the Play Store. You can use the web. You can uh, do email. Uh, the Google Mail is working on mine, and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, it shows me the time, and uh, I can do Pandora, my Play Music Works, uh, all of these applications, just about everything that's uh, available on the Play Store works on this, and um, so it it's, works very quickly, and it's running entirely off of the SD card. It, this is not war change your warranty. It does not affect the device in any way. If we took the card out, well, power it off and take the card out, it will uh, boot up in stock, just look just exactly like it did just a moment ago. If I take the card to another Nook tablet, it'll still boot that Nook tablet, even though it's stock or even if it has a custom ROM, it'll boot that tablet with my configuration on it. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how today to uh, go ahead and, and build that uh, SD card. And I'm going to use Windows and uh, to make things a little bit quicker, I've already uh, done some of the work to make it a little bit quicker on the, the disc here, I mean on the uh, video. And so one of the things that I've done is I have downloaded, and you'll find the link to this on my website, I've downloaded the uh, Team B file, and the Team B file is actually only 115 megs, but once you expand it, uh, take it out of the zip form and go to the image form that we're going to use, it becomes 4 gigabytes. Then also I have downloaded, and the link's also on my website, the uh, Windows Disk Imager program. This is free. I've loaded the program, found my uh, uh, my image file here and, and use the little window to open it up and find the, the image file that you're going to use. I found mine and uh, then you select, make sure that you select the correct uh, USB, oh I'm sorry, uh, you're too low there. Uh, make sure you select the correct USB card and it has to be USB, the SD card, it can't do uh, any other kinds of cards. And uh, this is the image file here that I found. And so once we've done that, then we write it. And it says, are you sure that it wants to do that? And I say, yes, I do. Uh, and so it starts the writing process. And once that process is completed, then we will have a bootable SD card, just like the one that I was using a few moments ago on this device that's now turning down, shutting down, and I'll take the device out, 
take the card out. And let's zoom out a little bit here. Take the card out. Now this is my SanDisk 16 gigabytes uh, class 6. I recommend that you use at least a class uh, class 4. Uh, class is the speed. Class 4 or class 6. And you probably need to have I mean, you probably could get away with a 4 gigabyte, but uh, now I'm going to turn this nook back on, and it's going to boot up as a stock nook. Uh, you probably get away with a, with just a 4 gigabyte disk, but I would recommend at least 8 and 16, and it works really well because it saves all the programs that you want to, all the applications you want to install, and everything runs real smooth, real easy. Like I said, I use a class 6, which is very, very fast. Class 10, some people have reported issues with class 10 disk. Maybe it's a little bit too fast. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. We are now booted up as a stock nook again. So your warranty is good. Everything is still stock. If you wanted to do all the normal Barnes & Noble stuff, it still does that. If you want now to switch back to the other, you don't have to take the card out every time. Uh, you if you want to boot into the Barnes & Noble, which I don't know why you'd want to, but if you did, then you just do a reboot from the uh, Cyanogen Mod version when you're running that chip. And if you want to uh, turn the, uh, if you're in the stock version and you want to switch over to the, to the uh, Cyanogen Mod, just power off, and then once you power on, it'll automatically, from a, a cold power on, the device will always boot the SD card first. And of course you got CyanogenMod Mod on the SD card. From a reboot, it will boot onto the internal memory, which is stock. Okay. Well, uh, we're still loading the file. It's a four gigabyte file, so it will take a while to do that. But uh, you just follow those pro that process, and when you're finished, you will have a bootable disk. All right, that's RayWaldo.com. For more information, a step-by-step -step guide, and the uh, links to the files. All right, see you next time. Bye.